Looking for ways to clean your gold jewelry, but you don't have a product like a jewelry cleaning solution? Well, these home remedies are ways you can clean your gold jewelry. I have a few different types, I think four we'll go over and I'll show you how I do it in this video. Before I do that, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, we'll go over a few other um, ways you can clean your gold jewelry using home remedies. So let's check out these different ways you can clean your gold jewelry. Before I show you these different ways you can clean your gold jewelry, we're going to go over basically a very important detail and that is if your gold jewelry is dipped or has a slight plating to give it a higher carat look. They do that to 10 and 14 karat gold products. And this is a very important detail in this video. Do not use jewelry cleaning solutions. It will take off that layer of gold plating. So I found out the hard way and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about in this video. All right, well, let's go to my table and check out these different cleaning solutions. Before I show you how I do this with these different cleaning products, I'll show you what they are. So we got, you know, your regular jewelry cleaning solution that you can buy. You don't have to get the Connoisseur's brand, but that's one of my favorites. This stuff works really, really good. Uh, you only got to put it in there for like 30 seconds and it comes out looking almost brand new. So this is a great product, but do not put dipped jewelry, gold jewelry in this, or you will notice a different color when it comes out. I'll show you later in the video what I'm talking about, okay? This is a pretty common gold jewelry cleaner, a household product, and most people have this, and that's vinegar. You just put it in vinegar, let it sit for a while, um, and when it comes out, you clean it off and wipe it with the towel. Well, rinse it off, then clean it with the towel, and it comes out looking great. It's kind of similar to this stuff, right? Then, if you want to be extra safe, this is why I'd say for dip jewelry, is you use dish detergent. And this is a safe way of cleaning your jewelry, your gold jewelry, without that happening. It also works really good with gold-plated jewelry as well. And then, after I'm done using these, I always use this guy, the polishing cloth. It puts anti-tarnish stuff on it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And it keeps it from tarnishing uh, over time. Lasts quite a while too. And it makes your jewelry even look even more shinier. This is a great product. I highly recommend. You only can use it a few times though on gold plated jewelry or your gold dipped jewelry. Um, because, you know, it will slowly wear away at that. Okay, well, let's start off with this guy. Okay, we're gonna start off with Connoisseur's Fine Jewelry Cleaning Solution. This is for gold jewelry, diamonds, stones, stuff like that. You can use it with gold-plated pieces as well. If you see the little print down there, it says that stuff. Um, so we'll throw it in for 30 seconds. I'll fast forward while it's in there, and then once it's done, we're going to use this ring right here. This is a 10 karat rose gold ring. It's kind of dirty. So hopefully it comes out looking a lot shinier. Okay. Okay, it's been 30 seconds. I'll take it out here. Sometimes it's good to swirl it around too for a little bit, you know. Make sure it gets in every little crevice. Okay. Now... I'm going to set it right there, and I'll show you what I do after that. Okay, we're going to move this out of the way. Normally, I do this under the sink, but for the video, let's, we'll do it here. You can put it in some warm water, right? And actually, sometimes I'll scrub it with some of that solution still on it. And then I'll, you know, rinse it in the water. Okay, dry it off. Okay, so now it's cleaned and dried off. 
has a nice shine to it. Okay, now I use that polishing cloth. So the polishing cloth has two sides. You put, use the white side first and then the, the this side second. This is the more has the anti-tarnish on it. The other side's kind of more for polishing, uh, like any scratches and stuff like that. Small nicks. Usually I put it, if it's a ring, I'll put it on my finger, so it's just kind of easier. And then you do this side. Okay. I don't know if the video is doing this justice, but it de definitely looks a lot better. Definitely has a, you know, a nicer shine to it. Okay, and that's how I use the, you know, the solution that you can buy. Now let's go to the home remedies. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the dish detergent. Okay, this is what you use for more delicate pieces like your gold dip ones or gold plated jewelry. That way, you know, the plating does not come off. So I have just some warm water here. You put quite a bit in. You don't have to put a little. Okay, then you wanna stir it around. After you have it mixed nice and well. Now this is what we're going to do. This is a rhodium plated St. Franco chain. 14 karat gold. So this is why I would never put this in the in this stuff. Because it would slowly eat away at that rhodium plating. So we put it in there for 15 minutes. I got another one we'll do. This one is gold dipped. It's 14 karat but it has more of an 18 karat look. So we'll throw that in as well. Now, we'll let that sit for 15 minutes. And you can swirl it around a bit, you know, into the cracks and crevices. Okay, so after 15 minutes, you wanna pull it out. Pull this one out first, and we'll give it a good scrubbing. I don't think I've cleaned this one yet because I've been nervous about the, you know, rhodium plating. But I can see the grime that came off it in this bowl. So good thing I did. You know, sometimes instead of with it bunched up and scrub it, you want to always use a soft bristle brush. You can use a toothbrush as well. This is a good technique is holding it like this. So after you get it nice and rinsed off, and I recommend not using a bowl of water and running it under the sink with hot water, like luke lukewarm water. That's what they say online. Okay. Once you get it nice and dry, and like I said, this is a good method for gold-plated jewelry. Well, first, let's look at it. Here you can tell it's quite a bit shinier. This is a beautiful chain, too. Okay, now we get the anti-tarnish stuff on it. Since it's rhodium plated, we don't want to do it too much. Because this black stuff, that's not, that's just a chemical reaction. That's not gunk coming off of it. Beautiful now, so clean and shiny. Okay, let's do the other one that's in there. This is the gold dipped. 
five millimeter power link bracelet from Saints Gold. So was that last chain. That chain was from Saints Gold too. Okay, that's good enough. So that was with the laundry soap, the home remedy. God, I keep saying laundry soap. <laughs> with the dish soap. Okay, those turned out nice. Okay, we're gonna fill this up with a, enough vinegar to where the gold jewelry is fully submerged, so probably not that much. We'll put that in, okay. Now for this, we're gonna use this seven millimeter rose gold Miami Cuban link. It hasn't really been clean in a while. I keep my jewelry pretty clean, but um, let's throw it in. We're also gonna use my grill, my four piece grills. So throw those in too. So we gotta wait 10 to 15 minutes for those. Uh, but while it's doing that, I'll show you what I'm talking about when it comes to putting dip jewelry in here. Hopefully you'll be able to tell and see what I'm talking about. So, I used my beautiful ice link chain. I put it in there. And, you know, when I took it out, it was nice and shiny. But I noticed that the gold color changed ever so slightly more of a 10 karat color it is 10 karat but hopefully you guys will be able to see the difference now this one is the exact same on the left it has a slightly richer gold color and it's because of using that dip i didn't i never dipped this one because i you know didn't want to do that after but maybe you can tell with the clasp. Yeah, you can tell right there. You see, the one on the left definitely has a more richer gold color than the one on the right. I'm hoping you guys are seeing that because I can see it pretty clear. So that's why you gotta be careful. I didn't know these were dipped or had a, you know an enhanced um, coloring to that. Turn the light down a little. Maybe we can tell a little more. They're both 10 karat. But it definitely made the color not as... Yeah, you can see that. The color not as rich as the one on the left. So that is why do not put dip jewelry in this, you know, these jewelry cleaning solutions. And uh, there's only a few dish soaps you can use, like Dawn's a good one, um, but don't use like Ajax, ones like that. They could, you know, mess up your gold jewelry so slightly, change the color. There's chemicals in it that can react to it. So um, if I had Dawn, I would probably use it, but I don't I have Ajax right now, so... Keep that in mind though, guys. And the other methods you can use besides these is obviously the baking soda method with boiling water. That, you know, people use that for silver jewelry, but it works on gold jewelry as well. Um, and then the, a pretty simple one is just hot water. You can use boiling water to uh, clean your gold jewelry. I've seen Cubano do that before, and it works pretty well. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's do the bracelet first. Okay. That is nice and clean now. Beautiful 14 karat rose gold. Yeah, that, the vinegar method works great. Okay, let's do the, the four-piece grill, and then we'll wrap up this video. Look at 
that guy nice and shiny. Let's grab all everyone that cleaned. Do a quick little shot here and then end this video. Those are all nice and shiny. Appreciate you guys all watching. Hopefully I was able to help you out. And I'll see you guys later. Baltimax 